Hello everyone. Unit 12 Aldehyde, Ketones and Carboxylic Acid Carbonyl compounds are the utmost important to organic chemistry. They are constituents of fabrics, flavorings, plastics and drugs. In the previous unit, you have studied organic compounds with functional group containing carbon-oxygen single bond. In this unit, we will study about the organic compounds containing carbon-oxygen double bond called carbonyl group, which is one of the most important functional group in organic chemistry. In aldehydes, the carbonyl group is bonded to a carbon and hydrogen while in the ketones, it is bonded to two carbon atoms. The carbonyl compounds in which carbon of carbonyl group is bonded to carbon or hydrogen and oxygen of hydroxyl moiety that is OH are known as carboxylic acids. While in compounds where carbon is attached to carbon or hydrogen and nitrogen of NH2 moiety or to halogens are called amides and acyl halides respectively. Esters and anhydrides are derivatives of carboxylic acids. The general formulas of these classes of compounds are given below. Here you can see the formula of aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic, acyl aldehyde, acyl halide that is halogen and amide, ester and acid anhydride. Aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids are widespread in plants and animal kingdom. They play an important role in biochemical processes of life. They add fragrance and flavor to nature. For example, vanillin from vanilla beans, salsaldehyde from meadow sweet and cinnamaldehyde from cinnamon have very pleasant fragrance. Here you can see the all three structures, vanillin, salicylaldehyde, and cinnamaldehyde. They are used in many food products and pharmaceuticals to add flavors. Some of these families are manufactured for use as solvents that is acetone and for preparing materials like adhesives, paints, resins, perfumes, plastics, fabrics, etc. 12.1 Nomenclature and Structure of Carbonyl Group 1. Aldehyde and Ketones Aldehyde and ketones are the simplest and most important carbonyl compounds. There are two systems of nomenclature of aldehydes and ketones. A. Common names. Aldehydes and ketones are often called by their common names instead of IUPAC names. The common names of most aldehydes are derived from the common names of the corresponding carboxylic acid by replacing the ending IC or IC of acid with aldehyde. At the same time, the names reflect the Latin or Greek term for the original source of the acid or aldehyde. The location of substituent in the carbon chain is indicated by Greek letters alpha, beta, gamma, delta, etc. The alpha carbon being the one directly linked to the aldehyde group, beta carbon the next and so on. For example, acetaldehyde, benzaldehyde. Beta bromobutyraldehyde that is alpha carbon, beta carbon and gamma carbon. The common names of ketones are derived by naming two alkyl or aryl groups bonded to the carbonyl group. The locations of substituents are indicated by Greek letters alpha alpha dash, beta beta dash and so on beginning with the carbon atoms next to the carbonyl group indicated as alpha alpha dash. Some ketones have historical common names. The simplest dimethyl ketone is called acetone. Alkyl phenyl ketones are usually named by adding the name of acyl group as prefix to the word phenon. For example, acetone, acetophenone, propiophenone, benzophenone. B. IUPAC name. The IUPAC names of open chain aliphatic aldehydes and ketones are derived from the names of corresponding alkanes by replacing the ending E with Al and 1 respectively. In case of aldehydes, the longest carbon chain is numbered starting from the carbon of the aldehyde group while in case of ketones, the numbering begins from the end nearer to the carbonyl group. The substituents are prefixed in alphabetical order along with numerals indicating their positions in the carbon chain. The same applies to cyclic ketones 
where the carbonyl carbon is numbered 1. When the aldehyde group is attached to a ring, the suffix carbaldehyde is added after the full name of the cycloalkane. The numbering of the ring carbon atoms start from the carbon atom attached to the aldehyde group. The name of the simplest aromatic aldehyde carrying the aldehyde group on a benzene ring is benge benzene carbaldehyde. However, the common name benzaldehyde is also accepted by IUPAC. Other aromatic aldehydes are hence named as substituted benzaldehydes. Ethanol, 4-bromo-3-methyl, heptanol, 3-methyl, cyclopentanone, cyclohexane carbaldehyde, pentane-2-anol, and 1-phenyl-propane-1-one. 3-oxopentanol, 2-4-dimethyl-pentane-3-one, and 4-nitrobenzene carbaldehyde or 4-nitrobenzaldehyde, propane-1,2,3-tricarbaldehyde. Note, to give identical treatment to all aldehydic groups, the compound is named as shown above. The common and IUPAC name of some aldehydes and ketones. Here you can see the structure and the common name and the IUPAC name. So for the formaldehyde, the IUPAC name is methanol, acetaldehyde, ethanol, isobutyraldehyde that is 2-methylpropanol, Gamma methyl cyclohexane carbaldehyde that is 3 methyl cyclohexane carbaldehyde, alpha methoxypropionaldehyde that is 2 methoxypropanol, and the common name is again valerdehyde and its IUPAC name is pentanol, then after acrolein that is prop 2 anol, then after pethaldehyde, then this is benzene 1,2 dicarbaldehyde, M bromobenzaldehyde it is having iupac name 3 bromobenzene carbaldehyde or 3 bromobenzaldehyde then after again common name methyl and propyl ketone iupac name is pentane to own then after diisopropyl ketone iupac name is 24 dimethyl pentane 3 own then after common name is alpha methyl cyclohexanone and the IUPAC name is 2-methylcyclohexanone. Then after again common name is mesetyl oxide. The IUPAC name is 4-methylpent3-in-2-one. 12.1.2 Structure of the carbonyl group. The carbonyl group atom or the carbonyl carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and forms three sigma bonds. The fourth valence electron of carbon remains in its p orbital and forms a pi bond with oxygen by overlap with p orbital of an oxygen. In addition, the oxygen atom also has two non-bonding electron pairs. Thus, carbonyl carbon and the three atoms attached to it lie in the same plane and the pi electron cloud is above and below this plane. The bond angles are approximately 120 degree as expected of trigonal coplanar structure. Here you can see the orbital diagram for the formation of carbonyl group. The carbon-oxygen double bond is polarized due to higher electronegativity of oxygen relative to carbon. Hence, the carbonyl carbon is an electrophilic that is Lewis acid and carbonyl oxygen a nucleophilic that is Lewis base center. Carbonyl compounds have substantial dipole moments and are polar than ethers. The high polarity of the carbonyl group is explained on the basis of resonance involving a neutral A and a dipolar B structures as shown. 12.2 Preparation of aldehydes and ketones Some important methods for preparation of aldehydes and ketones are as follows. 12.2.1 Preparation of aldehyde and ketones Number 1. By oxidation of alcohols Aldehydes and ketones are generally prepared by oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols respectively. Number 2. By dehydrogenation of alcohols. This method is suitable for volatile alcohols and is of industrial application. In this method, alcohol vapors are passed over heavy metal catalyst that is Ag or Cu. Primary and secondary alcohols give aldehydes and ketones respectively. Number 3. From hydrocarbons. Point 1. By ozonolysis of alkenes. As we know, ozonolysis of alkenes followed by reaction with zinc, dust and water gives aldehydes, ketones or a mixture of both depending on the substitution pattern of alkene. Number 2. By hydration of alkynes. 
Addition of water to ethane in the presence of H2SO4 and HgSO4 gives acetaldehyde. All other alkynes give ketones in this reaction. 12.2.2 preparation of aldehyde from acyl chloride or acid chloride. Acyl chloride is hydrogenated over catalyst palladium on barium sulfate. This reaction is called Rosenmund reduction. Here you can see this reaction where benzoyl chloride is converted in the presence of H2 and palladium barium sulfate that forms benzaldehyde. Number 2 from nitriles and esters. Nitriles are reduced to corresponding imine with stannous chloride in the presence of hydrochloric acid which on hydrolysis give corresponding aldehyde. RCN plus SNCl2 plus HCl gives out RCH double bond NH gives out RCHO. This reaction is called Stiffen reaction. Alternatively, nitriles are selectively reduced by diisobutyl aluminum hydride that is DIBLH to amines followed by hydrolysis to aldehydes. Here you can see all the three reactions. Number third from hydrocarbons. Aromatic aldehydes that is benzaldehyde and its derivatives are prepared from aromatic hydrocarbons by the following methods. Point 1. By oxidation of methyl benzene, a strong oxidizing agent oxidizes toluene its, its derivative to benzoic acid. However, it is possible to stop the oxidation at the aldehyde state with suitable reagents that convert the methyl group to an intermediate that is difficult to oxidize further. The following methods are used for this purpose. A. Use of chromyl chloride that is CrO2Cl2. Chromyl chloride oxidizes methyl group to a chromium complex which on hydrolysis gives corresponding benzaldehyde. Here you can see this reaction. This reaction is known as Itard reaction and in this Itard reaction toluene plus CrO2Cl2 gives out chromium complex and then after finally it is giving the benzaldehyde. B. Use of chromic acid that is CrO3. Toluene are substituted. Toluene is converted to benzylidine diacetate on treating with chromic as oxide in acetic anhydride. The benzylidine diacetate can be hydrolyzed to corresponding benzaldehyde with aqueous acid. Here you can see the reaction and finally the formation of benzaldehyde. Number 2 by side chain chlorination followed by hydrolysis. Side chain chlorination of toluene gives benzyl chloride which on hydrolysis gives benzaldehyde. This is a commercial method of manufacture of benzaldehyde. Here you can see the reaction where toluene is converting into the benzyl chloride and then after benzaldehyde. Number third, by Gartermann or Koch reaction. When benzene or its derivative is treated with carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride or cuprous chloride, it gives benzaldehyde or substituted benzaldehyde. Here you can see this reaction and this reaction is known as gatterman koch reaction where benzene is converting into the benzaldehyde. Here the presence of uh, anhydrous AlCl3 and CuCl is important, Co and HCl also. Now 12.2.3 preparation of ketones from acyl chlorides. Treatment of acyl chlorides with dialkyl cadmium prepared by the reaction of cadmium chloride with Grignard reagent gives ketone. Here you can see the reaction 2RMGX plus CdCl2 gives out R2Cd plus 2MGXCl. And the next reaction is 2RCOCl plus R2Cd gives out 2R-COR plus CdCl2. Number 2 from nitriles. Treating a nitrile with Grignard reagent followed by hydrolysis yields a ketone. Here you can see the reaction CH3CH2CN plus C6H5MGBr in the presence of ether CH3CH2CC6H5NMGBr gives out C2H5COC6H5 that is propiophenone. Number third from benzene or substituted benzenes. When benzene or substituted benzene is treated with acid chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride, it affords the corresponding ketone. This reaction is known as Friedel-Craft acylation. Here you can see this acylation. 12.3 Physical Properties The physical properties of aldehydes and ketones are described as follows. 
Methanol is a gas at room temperature. Ethanol is a volatile liquid. Other aldehydes and ketones are liquid or solid at room temperature. The boiling points of aldehyde and ketones are higher than hydrocarbons and ethers of comparable molecular masses. It is due to weak molecular association in aldehydes and ketones arising out of the dipole-dipole interactions. Also, their boiling points are lower than those of alcohols of similar molecular masses due to absence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding. The following compounds of molecular masses 58 and 60 are ranked in order of increasing boiling points. Here you can see the boiling point of N-butane 273, molecular mass 58, methoxyethane 281 and molecular mass is 60, propanol boiling point is 322 and molecular mass is 58, acetone 329 and 58 and propane 1 all that is 370 and molecular mass is 60. The lower members of aldehydes and ketones such as methanol, ethanol and propanone are miscible with water in all proportions because they form hydrogen bond with water. However, the solubility of aldehyde and ketones decreases rapidly on increasing the length of alkyl chain. All aldehydes and ketones are fairly soluble in organic solvents like benzene, ether, methanol, chloroform, etc. The lower aldehydes have sharp pungent order. As the size of the molecule increases, the order becomes less pungent and more fragrant. In fact, many naturally occurring aldehydes and ketones are used in the blending of perfumes and flavoring agents. Here is an example you can see. 12.4 chemical reactions. Since aldehyde and ketones both possesses the carbonyl functional group, they undergo similar chemical reactions. Number 1. Nucleophilic addition reaction. Contrary to electrophilic addition reactions observed in alkenes, the aldehyde and ketones undergo nucleophilic addition reaction. Number 1. Mechanism of nucleophilic addition reaction. A nucleophilic attack to electrophilic carbon atom of the polar carbonyl group from a direction approximately perpendicular to the plane of sp2 hybridized orbitals of carbonyl carbon. The hybridization of carbon changes from sp2 to sp3 in this process and a tetrahedral alkoxide intermediate is produced. This intermediate captures a proton from the reaction medium to give the electrically neutral product. The net result is addition of Nu- and H positive across the carbon oxygen double bond as shown in figure 12.2. Number 2 Reactivity Aldehydes are generally more reactive than ketones in nucleophilic addition reaction due to steric and electronic reasons. Sterically, the presence of two relatively large substituents in ketones hinders the approach of nucleophile to carbonyl carbon than in aldehydes having only one such substituent. Electronically, aldehydes are more reactive than ketones because two alkyl groups reduce the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group more effectively than in former. Number third, some important examples of nucleophilic addition and nucleophilic addition elimination reaction A. Addition of hydrogen cyanide, HCN. Aldehydes and ketones reacts with hydrogen cyanide to yield cyanohydrins. This reaction occurs very slowly with pure HCN. Therefore, it is catalyzed by a base and the generated cyanide ion, being a stronger nucleophile, readily adds to the carbonyl compounds to yield corresponding cyanohydrin. Cyanohydrins are useful synthetic intermediates. B. Addition of sodium hydrogen sulfide. Sodium hydrogen sulfide adds to aldehydes and ketones to form addition product. The position of the equilibrium lies largely to the right hand side for most aldehyde and to the left for the most ketones due to steric reasons. The hydrogen sulfide addition compound is water soluble and can be converted back to the original carbonyl compound by treating it with dilute mineral acid or alkali. Therefore, these are useful for separation and purification of aldehydes. C. Addition of Grignard reagent. For this, you have to refer Unit 11, Class 12th. D. Addition of alcohols. Aldehyde react with one equivalent monohydric alcohol in the presence of dihydrogen chloride to yield alkoxy alcohol intermediate, known as hemiacetals which further react with one more molecule of alcohol to give a gem dialkoxy compound known as acetal as shown in the reaction. Ketones react with ethanol 
Ketones react with ethylene glycol under similar condition to form cyclic products known as ethylene glycol ketones. Dry hydrogen chloride protonates the oxygen of the carbonyl compounds and therefore increases the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon facilitating the nucleophilic attack of ethyl glycol. Acetals and ketones are hydrolyzed with aqueous mineral acids to yield corresponding aldehydes and ketones respectively. E. Addition of ammonia and its derivatives. Nucleophiles such as ammonia and its derivatives H2NZ add the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones. The reaction is reversible and catalyzed by acid. The equilibrium favors the product formation due to rapid dehydration of the intermediate to form C double bond NZ. Some N substituted derivative of aldehyde and ketones table you can see here. Number 2 Reduction Reduction to alcohols Aldehydes and ketones are reduced to primary and secondary alcohols respectively by sodium borohydride that is NaBH4 or lithium aluminum hydride that is LiAlH4 as well as catalytic hydrogenation that is from unit 11 class 12th. Number 2 Reduction to hydrocarbons the carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketone is reduced to CH2 group on treatment with zinc amalgam and concentrated hydrochloric acid. Clemenson reduction it is. Or with hydrazine followed by heating with sodium or potassium hydroxide in high boiling solvent such as ethylene glycol that is Wolf-Kishner reduction. Here you can see the Clemenson reduction and again you can see the next Wolf-Kishner reduction. Number third. Oxidation Aldehydes differ from ketones in their oxidation reactions. Aldehydes are easily oxidized to carboxylic acids on treatment with common oxidizing agents like nitric acid, potassium permanganate, potassium dichromate, etc. Even mild oxidizing agent, mainly tolerance reagents and failing reagents also oxidize aldehydes. RCHO that is converted into the RCOOH and that is a oxidation. Ketones are generally oxidized under vigorous condition that is a strong oxidizing agent and at elevated temperature their oxidation involves carbon-carbon bond cleavage to afford a mixture of carboxylic acid having lesser number of carbon atoms than the parent ketone. The mild oxidizing agent below are used to distinguish aldehyde from ketones. Number one, Tollens test. On warming an aldehyde with freshly prepared ammonical silver nitrate solution that is Tollens reagent, a bright silver mirror, mirror is produced due to formation of silver metal. The aldehydes are oxidized to corresponding carboxylate anion. The reaction occurs in alkaline medium. RCHO plus 2 AgNH3 whole twice plus 3 OH gives out RCOO negative plus 2 Ag plus 2 H2O plus 4 NH3. Number 2. Failings test. Filling reagent comprises of two solutions, filling solution A and filling solution B. Filling solution A is aqueous copper sulfate and filling solution B is alkaline sodium potassium tartrate that is Rochelle salt. These two solutions are mixed in equal amount before test. On heating an aldehyde with filling reagent, a reddish brown precipitate is obtained. Aldehydes are oxidized to corresponding carboxylate anion. Aromatic aldehydes do not respond to this test. Reaction is RCHO plus 2 CO2 positive plus 5 OH negative gives out 2 RCOO negative plus Cu2O plus 3 H2O and here Cu2O that is red brown PPT. Number third, oxidation of methyl ketone by halo form reaction. Aldehydes and ketones having at least one methyl group linked to the carbonyl carbon atom that is methyl ketones are oxidized by sodium hypohalite to sodium salts by corresponding carboxylic acids having one carbon atom less than that of the carbonyl compound. The methyl group is converted to haloform. This oxidation does not affect a carbon-carbon double bond if present in the molecule. Iodoform reaction with sodium hypoiodite is also used for the detection of CH3CO group or CH3CHOH group which produces CH3CO group on oxidation. Here you can see the example 12.4 and its solution.
नंबर फोन रिएक्शन ड्यू टू अ हाइड्रोजन एसिडिटी ऑफ अल्फा हाइड्रोजन ऑफ एल्डीहाइड एंड कीटोन्स द एल्डीहाइड एंड कीटोन्स अंडर गो अंबर ऑफ रिएक्शन ड्यू टू द एसिडिक नेचर ऑफ अल्फा हाइड्रोजन द अल्फा हाइड्रोजन एटम्स ऑफ कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड इज ड्यू टू द स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रॉन विद ड्रॉइंग इफेक्ट ऑफ द कार्बोनिल ग्रुप एंड रेजोनेंस स्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ द कॉन्जुगेट बेस पार्ट वन एल्डोल कंडेशन एल्डीहाइड एंड कीटोन्स हैविंग एटलीस्ट वन अल्फा हाइड्रोजन अंडर गो अ रिएक्शन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डायल्यूट एल्कली एज कैटलिस्ट टू फॉर्म बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी एल्डीहाइड दैट इज एल्डोल और बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी कीटोन्स दैट इज कीटोल रिस्पेक्टिवली दिस इज नोन एज एल्डोल रिएक्शन Here you can see the ethanol that is 2CH3CHO with the dilute NaNaOH. It is forming 3-hydroxybutanol that is aldol, and on heating, it is forming but2-enol that is endol condensation product. And the same reaction is propanone and in barium hydroxide, and that is forming the ketol. And then after on heating, it is forming the 4-methylpent3N2-ON. that is aldol condensation product the name aldol is derived from the names of the two functional group aldehyde and alcohol present in the products the aldol and ketol readily lose water to give alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds which are aldol condensation products and the reaction is called aldol condensation though ketones give ketols compound containing a keto and alcohol groups the general name aldol condensation still applies to the reactions of ketones due to their similarity with aldehydes number 2 cross aldol condensation when aldol condensation is carried out between two different aldehydes and or ketones it is called cross aldol condensation if both of them contain alpha hydrogen atoms it gives a mixture of four products this is illustrated below by aldol reaction of a mixture of ethanol and propanol here you can see the reaction where ch3 cho plus ch3 ch2 cho is forming ch3 ch double bond ch cho that is but2 nl and it is also forming 2 methyl pent 2 nl from two molecules of propanol here you can see the cross aldol products from one molecule of ethanol and one molecule of propanol the both products are the 2 methyl but 2 nl and pent 2 nl ketones can also be used as one component in the cross aldol reaction here you can see the another reaction number 5 other reactions number 1 canizaro reaction aldehydes which do not have an alpha hydrogen atom undergo self oxidation and reduction that is disproportionation reaction on heating with concentrated alkali in this reaction one molecule of aldehyde is reduced to alcohol while another is oxidized to carboxylic acid salt here you can see formaldehyde with concentrated koh on heating it is forming methanol plus potassium formate and the formula of the potassium formate is hcook and methanol formula is ch3oh two benzaldehyde with concentrated naoh on heating forming benzyl alcohol and sodium benzoate number 2 electrophilic substitution reaction aromatic aldehydes and ketones undergo electrophilic substitution at the ring in which the carbonyl group act as a deactivating and meta directing group here you can see benzaldehyde in the presence of hno3 h2so4 at the temperature 273 283 kelvin it is forming m nitrobenzaldehyde 12.5 uses of aldehydes and ketones in chemical industry aldehydes and ketones are used as solvents starting materials and reagents for the synthesis of other products formaldehyde is well known as formalin 40% solution used to preserve biological specimens and to prepare bakelite a uh, phenol formaldehyde resin it is and urea formaldehyde glues and other polymeric products acetaldehyde is used primarily as a starting material in the manufacture of acetic acid ethyl acetate vinyl acetate polymers and drugs benzaldehyde is used in perfumery and in dye industries acetone and ethyl methyl ketone are common industrial solvents many aldehydes and ketones example butaldehyde vanillin acetophenone camphor etc are well known for their odors and flavors rest of the chapter i will cover in the next video so keep watching thank you so much bye bye take care